I've been in photojournalism since the early 80s. I was primarily a conflict photographer, a war photographer. In the year 2000, Time Magazine, who I work for, had sent me to Chechnya. I had come to realize that I didn't want to do it anymore, and I had asked Time if they could find me another line of work to do something, and they offered me to cover the White House. I just became fascinated at these men in black suits and standing on street corners. Everything had to be clean and perfect because in a Republican world, everything is straight, everything's perfect, there's no trash. Pretty much 99% of the photographs are shot in a style that emulates the human eye in the sense of a medium to a medium telephoto view. A lot of these pictures, I have like 10 or 15 seconds to make the pictures because they're taken when I'm moving from point A to point B and I don't have a lot of time and I don't want them to look rushed, so I have to stop and make sure all the lines are straight. I traveled six, seven months out of the year with the president, and that's all I saw, a very sterile and very cleaned up America. It's just that I started to notice what was going on around the president, and it's almost like he became irrelevant to actually be in an actual image. I'm trying to convey the fear and this kind of paranoia and this kind of cult of personality around the president that existed. Look at these people. Look how much they are in love with their president. There were certain eyes, of the way people looked at the president, that really caught my attention. They would have these security details. They would put these men in strange places and they would have to stand there for several hours. This is the head of President Bush's security detail. He's the lead agent and the president is actually off camera to the left viewing reclaimed marshes up in Maine. This man conveys that look, that you would see event after event the way people would look at him. To me, it's quite frightening. To me, that photograph's one of the more frightening images. He's actually the farmer where the president was having a political rally and he was sitting behind the stage in his little lawn chair. I've given them to people in the administration. No, oh, they love it. Yeah, they ask me for it. They want me to sign it. It's their world, <laughs> I'm telling you. That's interesting. It's shot out of the window of the motorcade. Those are huge construction cranes that pour concrete. Go up probably 100 feet in the air, and there's flags. It was all along the route of the motorcade. I do want people to look at my photographs to understand that they're not art photographs, that they are photojournalism. And that I realize it is subjective, but this is reality. 